I am now going to show you how to set up your TP17. Start by inserting the battery and then feel free to attach the battery cover by snapping it into place. Once this is done, you can insert the probes into their ports. Make sure you push hard enough that you hear a clicking noise when assembling these probes. After this is done, the device is ready for use. The TP-17 has a wall mount, a magnetic mount, a retractable stand, a power off mode, temperature mode, timer mode, and a Fahrenheit and Celsius mode. When on the temperature mode, you will see probe 1 and probe 2, as well as the current probe setting. Right now you will see dashes under the thermometer temp because there are no probes currently inserted into the probe 1 and probe 2 sockets. Press the probe button to select probe 1 or 2. The device will lock after the indicator stops flashing you can then set the temperature using the up and down arrows. You can make use of the presets by using the meet button to toggle through the selections. Currently we have chicken, pork, ham, rare beef and fish, medium beef, well done beef, and then back to your custom setting indicated by the gear. You can do the same thing with your second probe as well. To make use of your timer, switch the mode to the timer on the back. This is indicated by the clock. You will now see your probe's current temperature and setting as well as the time. You can adjust the timer's hours by using the HR button and the minutes by using the minute button. To start your timer, press the start slash stop button. The flashing dots represent an active timer. To stop, press the stop button again. To clear your time, press and hold the HR and minutes buttons. To start a count up timer, simply reset your display and press the start slash stop button and your timer will begin to count up. Insert the probe into the thickest part of the meat, ensuring it doesn't touch any bone. We are using the second probe as an ambient oven air temperature reader. Ensure that the tip of the probe does not touch the rack of the oven. 